have you seen that this uh, this thing has also taken off um, recently? I feel like on social media where plus size people are now complaining yeah. about accommodations and they're like, things need well, to be. Well, I think this was a troll actually. This one was? Well, the one, There's where, a few. the one where the woman is going through the, the plane seats. And turns sideways? That was a fetish video. Because guy, really? guys jerk off to just fat woman struggling through the, this is. Really? This is a fact. Nick Mullen told me this and I believe him. And then somebody put over her complaining about um, the thing. The, oh. Uh, yeah, because I think that was just a fact. Because she's like struggling in a weird way. It's yeah, kind of like. her fat ass gets stuck. Yeah, it's very and like performative. Like, but then there are fat people that complain. Although, like as a fat person, I don't really complain about anything because I realize it's my problem. Exactly. And I, I look, at my fattest, yeah, things are uncomfortable. But you still go, I got to fucking just bite the bullet on yeah, this. Yeah, you got to bite the bullet. But also things are kind of big enough. Kind of. Like a lot of things are big enough. Like I mean, all these people are like, oh, the country's not designed for fat people. It's like it absolutely getting a Chevy Tahoe. I mean, like absolutely designed for fat people. If you're like, the, things are not big enough, you're right? That's really a big. Yeah. Like, what is this woman saying? Yeah. What's this big ass broad it's thing? It's super frustrating that there's even a difference between traveling as a straight sized person versus a plus size person. Traveling in general is difficult. In addition to you know being removed from the comforts of your own home, you're also being removed. thrown you in this like little yourself. wrench of like, oh, also. <laughs> You may be not able to fit all the places. Yeah. I just recently She's went like, on a I cruise. can't fit all of the places, you know, like Greece. <laughs> and you would think all of the excursions would have body inclusive accommodations, but there was like three or four excursions that had weight limits. Yeah, like if what? you were over 350 pounds, you couldn't attend this excursion. I feel like if you're physically able to walk a certain amount of miles you're not. Away, like you wouldn't be able to participate in these excursions because they know fat people have died before here's the deal yeah a fat person has died in some mayan ruin and they yeah. start rotting sure and then the rest of the tour group's like are we gonna leave them <laughs> and then like an elephant people have to come and strap this fat part it's probably like local people they have to strap this big behemoth to something. is a good limit. And walk down the fucking steps. Yeah. They've tried it before. Fat people have died. And this lady's like, I want to get on this parasail. And they're By the like, way, what excursion does this bitch want to do? Exactly. What is she talking about? She's like, I'm mad I can't go on the hike. <laughs> if you cared about excursions, you wouldn't look like that. <laughs> Three excursions. It's so shitty that they cut us. Oh, toilets. They don't have a stand at the bottom. Well, I don't even know what that means. That because they're they're well wall mounted. So they break if you're over a certain <laughs> oh, amount. They're not they're not fixed to the floor. So like that one right there, she could snap. She knows it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a stand at the bottom that are kind of just like hanging on the wall. Yeah. There's like beach loungers, <laughs> like the plastic ones that like bend snap. super easily. She calls the people. I snap the toilet in the guest quarters of the cruise. <laughs> so how does this work? <laughs> Jesus. Are there any accommodations with toilets made of stone? <laughs> <laughs> Sitting down on it and being like, oh my gosh, if I break this, like I will be so sad yeah. just because so I want to enjoy my it. beach time <laughs> and I don't want to have to worry about is something going to be able to like hold my weight. But right. All this, all Make this it out of steel, all this conversation about all these things that like maybe sh that don't accommodate her and none of it like. So that's why I decided to lose right, 60 right. pounds. No, it's know? very reasonable to go, I just want everything I encounter to be made of marble. <laughs> Always. Is there any way we can make something out of marble all the time? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just because I need that. Yeah. I need it for myself. I can't sit anywhere or go anywhere because, I mean, so what is, that means she's got to be pushing four bills, right? She's oh, a, she's, she's huge. pushing some bills. Yeah believe that airlines mm. is the biggest frustration when it comes to plus size accommodations. Mm. When we're flying next to other people, my husband and I try really hard to be as small as we possibly can, but you can only do so much <laughs> to make yourself small. One of the biggest of worries that eating. people have as a plus size person is having to ask in front of other people that they don't know for a seatbelt extender. But I mean, here's the thing. She's like, Fucking, it really sucks to ask for it, but you need a seatbelt extender. And here's the thing: if you don't want to ask for a seatbelt extender, there's one way. In fairness to her, in fairness to her, yeah. If a plane makes her fly out of the seat, yeah, 
it's over. <laughs> like if the G forces on that plane are making her fl- and her husband fly out of the yeah, seat. This is crashing. It's ripping apart. Yeah. She should not need a seatbelt. They should literally tell her in front of other people. Oh, you don't need one. <laughs> uh, you don't need to worry about this because anything that would propel you into the air <laughs> means it's over for all of us. <laughs> We're, we're, this is a mountain we're crashing into. Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Their life at risk and not wear a seatbelt versus embarrass themselves by asking for a seatbelt extender. I wish that there was a way that even if like on the reservation, we could say, I'm huge. I would prefer this type of chair or I would prefer yeah, this type of accommodation. <laughs> when you're making a reservation you on an airline, I think bitch. that there should be a way to select <laughs> that you want a seatbelt extender. And then that seatbelt extender should just be sitting. Well, on I'll your tell seat. you this. I've never needed one. And, and, uh, and the only on like the tiny jets, like the ones that sometimes you regionally fly. Yeah. Regionally. It yeah. gets very tight. But the seatbelts are pretty fucking big. They're pretty big. The seatbelts are big. I'm a big dude. The seatbelts are big. I have a smaller waist. But like the thing with her is it's just it's where you bulge. Yeah. She bulges in a place that's very tough to lock down. Yeah. With a belt. <laughs> She's bulging in a place. that's not. Why doesn't she wear the seatbelt around her neck? <laughs> <laughs> it would fit there. It definitely fits there. <laughs> You get there, hire people that are different sizes to come to your restaurant and sit in different places. So if you're going you to open know a restaurant, you're accommodating people of all different sizes. Can you imagine that being a fat seat filler? <laughs> hire people to just come to your restaurant and be fat. Hey, man, uh, I know you're a 425. <laughs> yeah. I'm opening a, a new uh, fucking sandwich shop. Could you come by? Let me ask you a down? question. So we have this very high end Italian restaurant and certain members of the fat activist community are worrying we're not shoveling a gruel in enough pig faces could you come down here and just be fat for a living <laughs> just do what you do do you see if some shit breaks yeah. you just, just come and just show people that the chairs work <laughs> her whole point is she sees the other fat person and goes oh these chairs work oh my god i love that she acts like she's not gonna chance it in a restaurant yeah sure she's like but but maybe i won't go to this restaurant really yeah you will to be made people want to travel and we shouldn't be seen as the problem okay okay every plane should have eight seats that's it that's it you know that that's also possible it's called private charter yeah can- private <laughs> charter yeah. charter that fatty <laughs> fatty boon batty i think it's uh it's getting it's, it's a little absurd and um the demands being made of people to accommodate this is an insane demand it's insane, it's insane. i mean and it's unrealistic and it would ruin I don't even understand what her problem is. She doesn't want to ask for the seatbelt extender. She wants, like, she wants, she's first like, of all, there's, there's places that have, I don't think she has to ask people like a good flight attendant notices oh, that and goes, as hey, soon as she boards, here you go. Hey, yeah. here you go. And, uh, and most restaurants <laughs> yeah. should be able to accommodate, you know, they should be yeah. like, Hey, we're probably gonna have some people for four fifty coming in. Right. You know, we need like, you know, how about you do a little bit, <laughs> For yourself, too. She's like, me and my husband, we, when we're on the plane, we try to be small. Yeah. Yeah? How? Yeah. How do you do How do you try to be this? small? This is right. what you do? You shrug? She goes, we close our eyes and we pretend to be June bugs, <laughs> but we're not. We're and 800 like, pounds of I know fun. I'm this big, but I'm going to chew myself down yeah. to 220. <laughs> I'm trying to chew myself down so I fit in this seatbelt. <laughs> so I can get to fucking, where are they even going, by Where the way? are they going? Where are you going? She's like, we took a trip to Ohio. It'd be funny if, well, wasn't there a thing too? Wasn't that a thing years ago where airlines were like, they would just go like, no, you got, you got to buy three seats. Yeah, like they would just make you buy the seats. I think so. Yeah, that was. I think it was maybe Southwest that was like, "Mm -mm. no, (laughs) if you're gonna fly here, you're you you require multiple seats. Yeah, I think they did that, and um, people got upset, obviously. Boots, oh, now boots. they're banning skinny woman. Well, there's no exact weight limit. A customer of size is someone that needs more than one seat. Yeah. Southwest state that the lowered armrest is if you cross <laughs> over it. Yeah. I love that this has to be explained to someone. The armrest is the border of the seat. Yeah. <laughs> Are you in somebody's country? <laughs> that's, that's where the seat ends. Now, are you Russia going into Ukraine right now? 
Because if, if so, you, if your stomach is in the next person's seat, you have to pay for that. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Though. I think it's reasonable. I think it's reasonable. I think it's reasonable. Or here's the thing: just don't fly. <laughs> don't fly. Get a get a first class seat. Yeah. Um, They're not being. Get an exit row. That might help. And try to be as small as you can. And and try to work on and you. Just, just wish real hard while you're in your seat. Just go, yeah. I'm small, and see how that works out. I like out. how she's like, the excursions are being kept. Like She's like, she's like finally, I'm on vacation. I want to try walking, <laughs> and they won't let me. I want to try. I've never done this before. What is this exotic thing called walking? Yeah, it's a really... Yeah, it's not like you're doing excursions when you're home. Yeah, and it's like, what does she think she's going to be on a zip line? Hell no, that yeah. whole fucking forest will fall That'd apart. That would be amazing, though. To see her on a zip line would be kind of amazing. And, and to for, they're like, we yeah. don't think you should do this. She goes, I got up here. And they're like, all right. And then you see all the shit snap. <laughs> Kill a kid in the village. And I'm like, oh, my God. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call two bears, one cave. 